Hi everyone. Um, I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna do a candle review today. So I haven't done a candle review yet, um, just because my life is so busy. But I really wanted to do a review, so I decided I would like to review Flamingo Beach. Um, so the scent notes on this guy are pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. So I did burn this one. Um, <clears throat> and to me, it smells like, it's a really nostalgic scent. It smells like a candy I used to have when I was a kid. Um, I'm trying to like pinpoint what it was. But it's got a floral note to it too, the dewy white petals. So I'm trying to think like berries and orange and the dewy white petals. So I feel like it kind of smells like rocket candies. You know the little rocket candies? Maybe a little bit, but like floral. So um, it was burning really nicely. I don't tend to have problems burning my Bath and Body Works candles or my white barn candles. They usually pool really nicely. Um, sometimes some burn a little bit slower, sometimes burn a little bit faster. This one was like an, a normal burn. It wasn't burning too quick. It wasn't burning too slow. I haven't trimmed my wicks yet. As you can see, um, they do have a little bit of cloud. Is it called clouds on top? I need to think of the word. Um, but I highly recommend if you want your candles to last um, to get a wick trimmer. I got this one, actually won this one with a candle um, in the winter time but you can get them on Amazon and you just trim the whip wick to like a quarter inch. Um, and then another trick that I've learned that helps keep the scent of your candles too, is use a wick dipper. And I got this on Amazon as well. Um, and what you do is you let it burn for however long you want to. And then instead of blowing out, you just dip the wicks and then push them back up. And that makes it so they don't smoke. And it also, I've noticed like with some of my older candles before I became a candle fanatic, um, if you blow it out, or I used, this is what I used to do. I used to put the lid on to put it out. Don't do that. Because then your candle smells like smoke and it doesn't keep its scent. So it kind of like ruins your candle. So don't do that. Get a, get a candle or a wick dipper. Best thing ever. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I do like this candle, but I'm finding, like I said in some of my other videos, I'm not a huge floral person. So this one just, it has a hint of floral, so I don't hate it. Um, I do, I like it. It's definitely not my favorite though. Um, I prefer, I'm gonna say I prefer like foodie scents, coconut. Um, the one that I kind of wanted to compare it to in the tropical collection. Um, actually, I don't know why I would compare it to this, but the orange pineapple punch has orange in it as well. So it's got the tart orange juice, sweet pineapples, and vanilla sugar cane. Like this one is more up my alley. It doesn't have a floral. Um, it has a flamingo on it. <laughs> so if you're not super into floral, I would suggest maybe getting the orange pineapple punch instead of Flamingo Beach. Um, super pretty packaging as well, and it's got the flamingo. So if you're into flamingos, this is a nice option too. And it's beautiful. This one's really great. I know this one was super popular just from watching other YouTubers. They're saying it's really popular. I think out of all of the tropical candles that I have purchased, um, Passion Fruit Banana Flower is my favorite. Um, the notes on this one are passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. Um, I love it. It's really fresh. It's not too strong. Like I said, I don't like really strong candles. Um, the burn was kind of wonky. I don't know if you guys can see this. Do you see? It didn't make a nice pool. It kind of left the side, which is kind of disappointing. And the wicks are really thin, super thin wicks. Um, but for scent wise, this one was probably my favorite. Um, I'm just going to show you guys all the tropical ones I have just because Island Daydream, 
was juicy pineapple, tangy mango, sugar cane, and coconut water. I thought I was going to like this one. I like it on cold, burning. I wasn't a huge fan of it burning. Um, so it's, I don't know, I can't remember if it was too strong. Um, warm Ocean Breeze. Beautiful packaging. I love palm trees. Um, ocean Sandal with Worm Sage and Eucalyptus Zest. Um, this one is spicy. It smells spicy. What is it that smells spicy? It's the eucalyptus, eucalyptus zest and the warm sage. This one, <laughs> I have a pretty tiny house um, and I couldn't smell it at all. There was no throw. I don't know if like my nose was broken that day or I'll have to burn it again and see. Um, but like no throw at all, but it's pretty still. So I still enjoy the prettiness of it. <laughs> and then... Um, I do have all the body care for the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I love Waikiki Beach Coconut. Um, tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. Hmm. This is like a 10. I love this one. Um, these two are definitely my favorite out of the collection. Um, I love coconut. I don't know what it is about this one that I love. It's just great. The other one that I adore is the Tropical Spice. It's over in my candle cupboard that I purchased. Um, love that one. So I'd say the Tropical Spice, the Wakiki Beach Coconut, and the Passion Fruit Banana Flower are my top three out of the Tropical collection. Um, oh, and I forgot, there's another one. This isn't really in the Tropical collection though. Um, Hibiscus Paradise, when they had that sale the other day, I actually grabbed another one of these. Um, I love this one. I forgot. It's not really in the tropical collection. It's kind of like a one-off. But I love the body care. I love this candle. It's so beautiful. It's got the wraparound. The scent notes are pink hibiscus, juicy guava, and sun-kissed coconut. Just like a beautiful summer coconut scent. And the candle is gorgeous. So I grabbed another one because I really, really do like it quite a bit. Um, I am super excited for the candles that are coming out. I don't know if any of you follow like Sense Galore on Instagram. Um, she just posted, was it yesterday or the day before, about all the summer candles that are coming out. I'm probably going to end up getting all of them because they're beautiful. I love the cute packaging. It's kind of like packaging and scent. I'm all about both. Um, I have so many candles though, you guys. I was just burning the pink lilac in vanilla from the bake shop collection that came out like way I it's so long ago now I love this one too I love this whole collection just wonderful I think they're all still online as well so um <clears throat> if anybody wants to grab those they're great yeah um I really enjoy this tropical collection I think it's wonderful because like you can keep them out all year round as far as I'm concerned I would keep these out all year round and burn them um so they're very versatile whereas like the Christmas candles I put away with my Christmas decorations love the Christmas candles but I do put them away the Halloween candles I tend to put away um the Easter candles I just put away because uh, once the, the holiday's over I'm kind of like no those are special for me and I want to keep them put away but like the generic tropical and the generic fall, actually, I keep out all year because, you know, it, on the, like a dark rainy day, you can grab a fall candle and burn it. But I'm definitely burning the tropical candles right now. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for the, the new candles to come out. I'm thinking they'll come out on the 12th with the Sunshine Mimosa. Um, I'm not super interested in Sunshine Mimosa body care but I love the way the candle looks. Um, I'm not a huge citrus person, but like for the packaging alone on the Sunshine Mimosa candle, if you haven't seen it, you should look it up. Like watch um, Queen of the Girl Geeks. Has she shown it? Maybe she hasn't shown it. Um, but like follow Sense Galore on Instagram. Like there's peeps of it in different places. It's so beautiful. It's like ombre. So I'm probably going to pick that up. 
Yes, I'm crazy candle lady. Um, and if you haven't followed me on TikTok, I show little clips of my candles burning um, and just some other silly things. So my TikTok handle is at Haley Siegel 8. So it's H A L E Y S E K E L 8. I'll put my info down below if you want to follow me on TikTok. I feel too old to have TikTok, but I have it. I feel too old to have a YouTube, but I'm doing it because it's fun for me and I like it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, maybe tell me your favorite tropical candle underneath and like and subscribe if you want to see more candle videos. I'm hoping to do more candle reviews in the future because I really like to do it. Um, I did put in two more orders that are coming. But like I said, because I live in Canada in a little rural city, it takes a while for them to come. So I did purchase some stuff from the Candle Day, not Candle Day sale, that awesome sale they had on candles and the 40% off sale. I also purchased some things as well. So I will do haul videos when I get those. Um, I have some other packages coming as well. So I'm going to do haul videos. They're not candles. They're clothes and stuff like that. But I thought I'd do some haul videos like that as well, just for fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.